everybody and welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since i posted um if you guys don't know me personally or like follow my like my my shop page um i have just moved from georgia back to texas and then i got to my texas house and we had to move house so it's been a whole bunch of crazy and my husband just got home from deployment so i'm sorry that i've been kind of missing in action but i'm hoping now that we are getting set up at the new house that is not put together yet but we're getting set up that I can start doing some videos for you guys again. So one question I've been receiving a lot has been, how do I clean my rims on my tumblers? So this is a tumbler I just finished. This is like one of my best sellers. Um, and this one glows in the dark. And I have so many people that ask how I clean my rims. So you can see I have paint on the rims. And everyone always asks, how do you clean the rim of epoxy? And I never have a good answer. And I always just say, like, I don't get epoxy on the inside. Like, and everyone's like, what? So I just wanted to show. So this is how my rims of my cup look when I finish them. So you can see that there's, like, no epoxy on the rims. Um, there's spray paint inside. And so I will be showing how I take care of that. But um, if I do usually get epoxy inside, it's usually like a drip like in here. It's not like on the rim. So usually I just kind of take a weeding tool or an X-Acto knife and I would pick it out. But um, if I ever do have epoxy on my rims that I need to take, I just take a cheap um, X-Acto knife. This is just one from Harbor Freight. It was like 25 cents, literally. And I just... Take it and I run it along the rim just like this. Just at a slight angle. You can see I'm going level with the cup. So I'm not breaking the seal on the cup at all. I'm just scraping off any that is on the rim. So that is what I would do if I had epoxy on the rim. And you would just go around the whole cup. Just like that. You can see that I'm not I'm not getting anything because I don't I don't get epoxy on my rims. Um I can show you guys how I apply my epoxy. I don't do anything special. When it's on my turner, I put it on here, all the way around the cup, and then I just swipe up. And I just go right over, let me turn it this way. I just go just enough over the edge of the cup, just like that. So I'm not going in the cup at all. I'm not covering the rim. I'm going up to the rim to cover the glitter and stuff, but I'm not um, going on the rim. So that's how I apply epoxy. So maybe that's like different. I don't know. I never have an answer for you guys. So, but if I did, the few times I do get epoxy on the rim, um, sometimes I get a little crazy. Um, that is what I do is I just kind of go around the rim and scrape it just so lightly. Like I said, level with the cup. That's how we you clean your rims. And then for the paint inside, I just use acetone. I can't find my actual acetone, so I just have some nail polish remover acetone here. And I just take it on a cotton round. I have to be careful because I don't want to get it on my nails. And I just go around the inside of the cup just like that. Easy peasy. And I just clean off the rims. Um, a lot of times I try to do this before um i do the final layer but i i forget a lot of times but yeah i'm just going around the inside of the cup just cleaning out any acetone i'm gonna flip it over just because the other side got dirty obviously all that paint coming off and then that's about it usually i have a can of compressed air up here and i would just kind of spray it just so if any fluff fell in there or any loose glitter don't know where that is in the move, so I'm just gonna kind of fluff it out. And then I will go and wash this. Just some, a quick little wash, nothing crazy. Dry it down real good, and then I package it up. Put my care instructions, my business card, package her up, put her in the box, thank you stickers, all that, all that jazz. Um, and then I ship it out. So that's how I clean up the rims. Obviously I need to kind of wash it still, but uh, yeah, that's how I get the nice clean rims on my cups. Um, I don't have a finished one up here that's like done done. But uh, yeah, that's, I've had a lot of you guys ask how I do that and I never had a good explanation. So I just wanted to pop real quick and show you guys 
this is a cup I'm about to ship out, so I thought I'd show you real quick. So, but yeah, that's how I do that. Um, I love this cup, and it glows in the dark too, which is so fun. But um, yeah, that's that's how you do it. So, if you guys want a packaging video, I don't do anything fancy. I just have a little drawer right here with uh, some thank you stickers, my business cards, and my care cards put my cards inside, wrap it up. I do use the boxes that they come in, so um, mine are usually plain white just because that's Puzzle Tumblr's boxes, and that's who I typically shop from. But I put it in its box, and then I pack the box with papers, bubbles, whatever. I try to reuse as much as I can just because it's better, and then I put it in the box, and nothing fancy. So if you guys wanna see that, I can definitely show you. But uh, yeah, so that, just wanted to do a quick little video and share that with you guys. So hopefully that helps to use the X-Acto knife around the rim to get them nice and clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm thinking that the next video I'm going to do is going to be one of these. And if you haven't seen these yet, these are, I've been seeing them everywhere. They're like the latest like craze. Um, first off, these little Mickey ears. This one's not finished, so you can see it's kind of rough still. Um, so I need to epoxy it again. But these cups are really popular because they're the snow globe cups. So you shake it all up and you've got a cool snow globe effect. And you just see that sparkle, it's so pretty. So these have been wildly popular, so I wanted to try them out. This is from Puzzle Tumblers. I also have dome ones, which I think is what I'll be using for the video I want to do. But I'll show you guys how to do it. It's super easy. Um, I mean, it took me, since I was figuring it out, it took me probably up to an hour to figure out, make sure I got it all right. But now that I know how to do it and like I know which spot is better to do and all of the stuff and the the measurements and you know all of that and how to get the glitter in the best and it it would be really quick and easy and then the lids you could bling them you could epoxy them you could leave them plain um you can do all kinds of stuff and then if you wanted to this is double walled acrylic obviously you're putting it in the walls um you could decal this epoxy it make it personalized like so many awesome things i think this one's pending sale right now on my page but um yeah they're just super cool so I will be hopefully doing a video on how to do this next and hopefully I'll do that in the next couple days but if you guys have any questions about this be sure to let me know um, I'll try to make a post about it so that way you guys can ask me there but yeah so that's how we clean the rims look forward to this and I will see you guys in the next one bye